Slug. Tactics. Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Metal Slug Tactics, shall we? This is a game that I was really excited to see that they made. I didn't even know that it existed. I've always loved Metal Slug. I have fond memories of playing it in the arcade with friends for, for years and years. And I love Final Fantasy Tactics and isometric turn-based tactics games. So this seemed like an ideal match, and I'm excited to give it a shot. So I'm going to be playing for the very first time right here. After escaping justice once again, General Donald Morton has freed his old friends from the rebel army and declared martial law in Sirico City, now the base for his latest erratic attempts at conquest. With thousands held hostage by the regime, the world government sends the only team hot-headed and irresponsible enough to match Morton blow for blow. That's us! I'm ready. Finally, Major, there's not a second to lose. Your fellow soldiers need help. Move the camera with the left stick and press B to continue, indeed. This is Marco, one of your units. Navigate between your units with left bumper. Keywords are used to explain some of the game's important concepts. With right stick down, navigate between keywords of a tooltip that is currently open to discover more details. To continue, open the window for keyword 2. Well done! You can continue checking keywords and tooltip windows that you've opened this way. Open the window for keyword 3 to continue our stick. Look at this, nested tooltips in a Metal Slug game. How about that? The world of tooltips is in your hands. Press B to close this and continue. These are your actions and moves. Each character has one of each per turn. Using an action before moving will also consume the character's move. Press B to close and continue. This is his movement range. Move Marco here. All right, let's go Marco up here, buddy. Pretty shabby for a barricade. Your pistol should be enough to destroy it. Here are Marco's weapons. Select his handgun by selecting it with the directional pad and confirming with right trigger. All right. Um, here, go, to, go over here. There you go. And right trigger, destructible elements. Certain elements of the environment are destructible. Press right trigger on this obstacle to attack and destroy it. Boom. Aerie reported a rebel ambush. Haven't heard from her since. Hold Y to end your turn. All right, I'm wide open. Oh, luckily they didn't attack. Thank goodness. Select Marco. Move Marco here. Uh, right up in their face, huh? Let's do it. Hover over this enemy with left stick. All right, he's got five hit points. MR1, damage four. Marco cannot take on both dead eyes at once. Undo with left trigger. Oh, thank goodness. Time is of the essence. Flip that switch to unload that crane. Move Marco to the switch. Yeah. Let's smash him with the crane. Here we go. Some elements adjacent to the current unit or select them with the left stick, then confirm that with A to interact with them. Interacting does not consume an action, but will prevent you from undoing any previous moves. Use this switch, then select the impact zone to make the crane collapse. All right, I'm doing it. Oh my God. Hold Y to end your turn. I will. Um, some units still have actions. Are you sure you want to end? Yeah, it's fine. Player turn now. That Cerubia tank is well armed. Shield yourself from its cannons. Select Marco... And moving over long distances generates resources. Always try to move on to the darkest colored tiles in your movement range. I guess that means like the further away. Okay. Um, and I will move here. This is your dodge. It reduces all damage sustained by the character and cannot itself be reduced. 
The further you move from your starting point, the more of this resource you will generate. Metal Slug Tactics revolves around movement. The further you move, the more resistant you are. Generating dodge must be at the core of every one of your strategies. Accumulating the dodge offered by great movements uh, and covers can nullify all damage for most enemies. Capitalize on passives and special actions, allowing you to gain bonus actions and bonus movements to build efficient offensive strategies. Remember, we always run and gun. So that's really cool. Like most of these strategy games, you can turtle a lot and snipers don't even want to move. But in this game, like you get a benefit from moving. Uh, so that's kind of kind of you know reimagine how you take some of your turns. That's fun. Here is Marco's special weapon. Each character has one. Special weapons are more powerful than primary weapons, but are limited in max ammo, which can be recharged after some missions. Select it with the directional pad and press right trigger, okay? And shoot the grenadier, selecting him, and using right trigger. Okay, this just shoots in a direction, and it's projected to do six damage, which will kill this guy. Oh god, he's gone. Um, and hold Y to end my turn. So I'm, again, wide open. But I do have the two dodge, I guess. So he would have done four, but my dodge reduced it by two. And my dodge is gone now that I'm not moving. Get closer to that tank. Major, I think I know how to deal with it. Alright, so they want me to move into cover. Now... When you say cover, this doesn't really look like cover. Um, but I'll move where you say. This is your cover, which is that two blue shield there. It's subtracted from all incoming damage, no matter which direction the character is attacked from. Cover is only provided by certain elements of the environment highlighted in blue tiles. Some weapons and enemies with no cover ignore cover. Oh, okay. So even though the tank and the guy above me... Like, their line of fire is not interrupted my, by my cover, but in this game, just because I'm next to cover, I get the cover bonus. That's also pretty interesting. This is your adrenaline. It's generated the same way as dodge. Adrenaline is the resource you need to use special actions. Press B and close to continue. Good. Confirm the tank's position, and I'll send in an airstrike. Here are Marco's special actions. Select tactical strike, okay? Tactical strike, yep. And we'll select the tank. Oh, and this is going to do 10 damage. It has a... Yeah, blow it up. Look at them radio that in. That's sweet. Oh, God. Take that. End the turn. So this dead eye is going to attack me. Oh, he does nothing. I forgot, I also got dodge. You're getting closer to the ambush site. Stay on high alert. I also got dodge from moving that turn, because I wasn't stationary, and I got cover. So, man, interesting. He did nothing. All right, let's go here, Marco. Let's get out of here. They did also, I think they said dodge was cumulative. So if you keep moving, it just keeps adding up. So if you move every turn... Oh, now I've got my team. Meet Ari and Theo. All right, select Marco. And... Um, select his primary weapon. Trigger your first synchronization by attacking this enemy. All right, I'm going to attack this enemy. Oh, look. The other people say sync. Maybe that means, like, if you pile up attacks on somebody. Oh, no, they're just going to automatically attack. Oh, she threw a grenade. Or he did. Or she did. Or she shot him. Oh, this guy. Oh, God, the sword in the ground. Just the, the signature awesome metal slug animations for everything. All of your characters have the synchronization passive. Sinks are automatic attacks. Deal damage to any enemy in range of another allied character's primary weapon to trigger one. That character will also attack the same enemy with their primary weapon. An attack or special action can only trigger other characters' sync option uh, once per action. Okay. That was pretty sweet, though. 
All of your units have passive skills. Knowing them well is key to a winning strategy. In combat, you can check your unit's passives here. Check a passive skill's details to continue. So I have efficiency, which says... Oh, okay, never mind. I dare hope the three of you will be enough to take this squad out. So efficiency says each time the unit uses a special action with a cost reduced to zero, they gain a bonus action. Okay. Determination says each time the unit contributes to a sink, it reduces the cost of its special actions by one. I see. And then this just gives you a sink. Okay. So um, my special actions... I don't know how to reduce it to zero, but that's interesting. Complete the mission. Here are your mission objectives. Finish the mission on your own. You will lose if you can no longer complete the main objective, or if all of your characters are KO'd. Alright? So, kill all enemies. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. So, he's got nothing left. She's got everything. And why do you have this, like, arrow on you? Mad Bomber. Each time this unit contributes to an attack, leading to at least one frag. Oh, they, that's why, because they get a bonus move and they gain bounce. Okay. So she's got a grenade, and she's also got this grenade launcher. So I can move really far with her. This will give me um, cover and, I think, one dodge, and this gives me two dodge, but no cover. We should probably move here. This, is, this would be three total protection. And then I can fire. But if I move over here, even though this doesn't give me cover, I wonder if I can hit both of these guys with a grenade. Let's find out. And then I'm going to... Um, yeah, I can. So if I didn't like this, I could take back the move, which is great if I can't hit. I love when games let you do that. I don't know if blowing up this crate will do anything, but it's not going to like it. Oh, and she's going to sink and then do extra damage to that guy. So this is really nice. But I could also um, grenade launcher and then kill one. I'm going to do this just to rub it in. Yes! Take him down. That was sweet. Alright. Mad Bomber. So she gets an extra move, actually, I think, is what they're telling me. And I guess I could... She already has... Um, two dodge. None of this will give her extra dodge, though. So I'm just going to... It's not a very far move. So I'm just going to leave her there and switch over here. And... If I were to just fire... No, she can't hit. I could move here. Oh, this is cover? Oh, this is hilarious. Yeah, they won't even be able to hurt me if I go here. So this will give me two dodge, two cover. And then from here, she should be able to just fire... Move the targeted unit. I can nudge. That's funny. Oh, but you have to be in a straight shot. Okay, so we have to take that back. Um, we'll have to move all the way up here. This guy has no health left, so I won't get the cover, which is sad, but I need to kill this guy. Oh, and she's going to sink, which is amusing. Yeah, we'll end the turn.
Some units have actions. Yeah, it's fine. I don't want to move her out of the cover. I mean, this man is coming... Literally coming to a... You know, bringing a sword to a gunfight. I, uh... This guy at least has a gun. Anyway, um... If you, Marco... Shoot, you need to be in front. So if I move you here... Yeah, this is a sink area. Might as well. Guy's still there. Determination. Right. So I think this guy has five health. So if even if I moved up with her, um, well, actually the machine gun could kill them. So if I move here, and then I use my special action, yeah, this guy's gone, because it's three hits for two each, and there's no miss. You're darn right, we got victory. Thanks for the rescue, old pal. Hardly a rescue. You just needed a little help starting the fireworks. What comes next in this operation? This is the perfect hideout to set up our offensive. Call on Fio and I once you've, you're ready to head into the desert. All right, so select three characters. One. <laughs> Look at this base. It is hilarious. I mean, there's just like weapon boxes, but also video games and toys everywhere. Arcade machines. Hysterical. Airy. Theo. And recruit. Welcome to the army. Default difficulty basic rewards. Cadet. A balanced campaign. Um, more challenging waves of enemies, new advanced enemies, slightly greater credit rewards. Let's try this. Oh, I can't. Um, I have to do recruit. I have to beat it probably on this difficulty first. Okay. Why can't I confirm it? Um. Oh, here we go. Okay. Region select. All right. Argun Palm Desert. Let's go. Look at that car. Sick. Transmission from headquarters. Lovely to see you as always, Major. It's Margaret. Though ideally we wouldn't have to meet quite so often. I bet you'd miss me if we didn't. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's not get carried away. Anyway, here's your mission briefing. Morden escaped captivity following the incident on Garbage Island. <laughs> Again? No interruptions, please. Since escaping, he's been busy freeing his old friends, most of whom we were waiting for, uh... Most of whom were waiting for their day in court. Oh my god. Margaret. Little by little, he's scraped together enough forces to build a base here in Surico City. Over the objections of the locals, of course. And it goes without saying that an open conflict in an urban area would have devastating consequences and prove fatal for said locals. That's why we've chosen to send a small team to infiltrate the city and take out Morden. And that's where I come in. Not so fast, Rossi. The path to Morden is guarded by three massive war machines. Oh, God. It seems they're playing coy with us, keeping out of sight. But all is not lost. The rebels have seized territories in the Argon Palm Desert, the 
Herkonet tombs, and the Soursop jungle. If we liberate these areas, the war machines will be forced to abandon their positions and intervene. And Morden? Are you sure we'll be able to capture him this time? Morden relies on his low-life friends. We should keep an eye out for any chance to break those alliances up. In the meantime, the ball is in your court. Make your way through the battlefield and head to Morden's base in Syracuse City. Yes, ma'am. Peregrine Falcons, head out. That's us. Uh, okay, so looks like each mission has uh, different reward types that we can get. So, I don't know. We could start uh, Legend. Here we go. Arsenal. Coins. Reinforcements. Experience. Okay. So, that's fine. Let's maybe... Um, I mean, these... This looks good. Kill all designated targets. Win in four turns. Sure. Sure. Holy smoke, that's a lot of bad guys. Um, assassination missions end when all targets have been killed. Check the objective's details to highlight the targets on the map. What do you mean the objective's details? All designated targets. Okay, there's only th four of them. Alright, it's the people with backpacks, I guess. Okay. And I need to place people in these different locations. Oh my god, can we get in this tank? Metal Slug, it's here. Yeah, get in there. Alright, I can put her behind it. No, wait. These brown squares just mean you need to get next to it. Not that I could start there. I can only put my people in this starting section. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. No problem. We're going to head around to the back and get in that metal slug. Mission. Start. All right. Reinforcements incoming. Great. Alright, so if I move you... This will give me two dodge. So will this. Um, we gotta kill this guy. If I move you here... And then I have you shoot. Is anybody gonna sync with me? No. So then just do this. No one will sink, so... We'll... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Darn. I uh, I actually meant to use my... That is a shame. Okay. And then she's got to come in and try to clean this mess up. And I don't know if it's possible. Actually, if I move here, I bet I can sink. Now, am I going to... I'm going to hit my buddy, but the dodge will make it nullified. I think. He's like, what did you do to me? Um, I guess I'd like... She has some movement left. But how far? Now this is fine. Let's just keep her here.
Okay. So, what I would like to do is... How far can you move? I have to move around, so here. Go um, all the way over here. It does take an action to get inside. That is okay. Why don't you get in? Vehicles have fuel and armor gauges. Armor is the vehicle's health. If the vehicle runs out of armor, it's destroyed and the character inside is KO'd. Vehicles consume fuel with every movement in action. Vehicles can all use their weapons once per turn, but deactivate their user's passives. Okay. Oh, I could fire, though? Main cannon. I don't know. Can I just shoot? Oh, I see. I can't really hit anybody right now. Can we move instead? Yes, I can. All right, this is hilarious. I'm going to move here. And then fire the main cannon. Um, well, I can't... It only fires right in front of you, so I gotta. I can't move into cover. I gotta do a better job. This... How far can you move max? Here? Nah, I, there isn't a place where, like, they've moved that I can hit more than one, I don't think. This, oh, never mind. This will do it. Night, night. Nobody's there, but man, it could take multiple actions. The vehicle is insane. That's awesome. Okay, so I need you to run over here. And she'll sink with it. So actually, if she's going to sink, do I need to use my special? Now nah, she's going to kill it. Perfect. Heck yeah, team. Now, she can only fire straight. But if I just... Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Um, Here, we go back to her. Yeah, here you go. Move here. Thank goodness. All right, that didn't count. I can just kill this guy. Now, if you don't replenish your ammo fully after each mission, then I'm being, like, way too wasteful, and I gotta be more careful. Oh, there's a hostage. Oh, okay. I didn't think that they had a range attack. They certainly do. Good to know. Oh, reinforcements. Okay. All right, here. Give me the tank. So if we move the tank here, and then I fire the main cannon here, That's one target, plus the reinforcement. Wow, look at this. Um, let's try this. The next attack has plus one hit per attack. So this means he could just shoot somebody um, and basically kill them in, in, in one shot. Well, I don't even need to do that, though, because I have sync, but that's, that's pretty powerful. Let me try this just to see. Oh, that took his whole turn, though. 
Ah, oh, man, that's terrible. Can I undo that? You can't. I mean, that's cool, but it's like that. I didn't realize. Yeah, I should have thought about it. It's not a free action. God, they've clustered. They've clustered for the slug. That's fine. All right, we get one turn to win, and we can get this bonus money. So let me uh, go over here, and I think if I move you here, you can main cannon here and just kill all of these guys? That is correct. Now, none of this other stuff will hit, but can you get far enough to... I need you to be able to hit this guy, but I don't know. Let's see if you can uh, over the, the cart here. No, I think that cart might be in the way. All right, let me think about this. Um, do I have an airstrike? I don't. I need, like, the grenade, I guess. I can move all the way. She doesn't have the, the ability either. So, from everything that I'm seeing, I'm not going to be able to get to this guy to get the bonus money this turn because I was a little bit too slow and methodical taking things out. Even if she goes over here, it doesn't... Well, wait a minute. What if she blows up the cart for the the guy in the back? Let's see if that'll work. Why can't she hit that? Alright, what does this do? How far can I move this guy? Nah, that's interesting though. Um, Mm, I want to hit this, but I don't... Wait, let me see how... Where can this... Where can my man move? He can move here. So if I could move the guy here with her, then we might be able to do this. So let me move her here. Just test this out. Oh, yeah. Move him here. I had some little robot pick the guy up, and then this guy can just move over here, and then um, we have sync and double attack, so... Victory. Bam! Now, I didn't free that guy, so I don't know if that means anything, but... We win. All right, so we got some money, and everybody got experience. I can always count on you for pest control. Sweet. Um, Arsenal rewards offer a choice between three mods. Primary weapons can equip two mods at once. Special weapons can equip up to three mods at once. Cool. Um, so, I can equip a mod for... Uh, shelling or max ammo plus two but you can't use cover doubles damage dealt to vehicles and environment objects oh wait never mind this means that nobody can use cover no this is sweet so her she gets more grenade ammo and um yeah. You're great. Your characters level up when finishing missions with a full XP gauge. They get a choice between three skills chosen randomly between special actions and passives. 
Okay, so I could have Knuckle Box, which is like a punching thing, I guess. Um, each time a, the unit targets an ally with a special action, they recover. Each time one of the statuses applied by the unit is removed, plus one damage. Mm, I like this melee attack. They gain adrenaline. Whoa, grenade juggler too. Yes. Plus one damage for sync. That's also really sick. But no, 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 more grenades. Whoa, bonus. Eagle. So this just is a long-range damage attack. I like overheating. Cool. Well, everyone, I think this is a great first look at Metal Slug Tactics, and I'd love to know what your impressions are of the game. Let me know down in the comments below. I am going to put links to the Steam page so you can check it out. And I want to know, have you played this? Have you heard of this? Do you want to see more? What is your take on the game? Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll check you in the next one. Take care.